About to head to the studio to go check in with the Dean, Kevin McCabe. And first, I gotta make this stop with my people over here, uh, Sideline Chick and Ralph Amazon Star Lord, because they are Dutchies or part of that Dutch mafia. Anyways, it's like 9.40 in the morning and I'm super tired, but I run on water. So please make sure that you guys subscribe, justchilly.tv. Also leave comments, likes, all that stuff. Hey, I wanna know uh, what some of the best places to go are. I think we're gonna try to hit some truck box today. I'm gonna be right back and I'll probably be back from Kevin McCabe Studios. Can I get you guys water? Oh, like water would be amazing. All right. Two hours later. All right, so we're taking off, leaving the studio. Shout out to Kevin McCabe for having us on. The Star Lord Ralph Amson, he's officially dubbed, titled, and renamed, repackaged as Star Lord. And even Hi. Sideline Chick made an appearance on the radio, hung out. Anyways, we're on our way to Sun Devil Stadium, and I'll be back. Over my shoulder here, you got the sideline chick and Star Lord Rob Amson. Sideline chick, you already know. I'm gonna find out her predictions for the game today. 5A state championship, Notre Dame prep versus Centennial. And hey, this is the only guy that picks against we'll us every we'll time, but still comes and shakes our hands. I love it. Here we go. Let's go. From the championship, all sizes are available. For more information on their products, make sure to visit the coaching page. Are we ready to get it done? What are you telling the kids this week? Man, enjoy the moment. Um, you know, we learned a lot uh, last year and, just, and uh, just understand that these moments are special. It's the last time we you can go out and play together and uh, make the most of it because these opportunities don't really come around. Your mind and body right now, last game, you know. A lot of emotions. I mean, last. Uh, Probably last game I'll ever see my son play in high school. But it's like a, there's like a last and a first. Last state championship game for one, first state championship game for the other. Right. There's right. good and bad, so. Yeah. But uh, you know, a lot of emotions. Important opinion going on right now. Uh, your boy Chili, make sure that you guys subscribe. Just Chili.tv, the sideline vlog. I got the sideline chick over here making her prediction who she thinks is going to win this battle of undefeated teams Centennial, the Coyotes, or the Notre Dame Prep Saints. I'm just curious, who's it going to be tonight? Uh, this is the best choice, but I'm going to go with Centennial.
Halftime here at Sun Devil Stadium and Notre Dame is fully getting that business 39 to nothing versus Centennial. What are some things that you see that Notre Dame's gonna have to fix in order to get back in this game? They honestly just have to convert on third downs. They cannot turn over the football. I think Jake Farrell's a really good quarterback and they have a lot of athletes over there at Notre Dame Prep. They got to get something going. They can't have negative plays on offense and on defense, you got to limit the big plays. Now Centennial. They are fantastic, Philly. It's a great. What are they doing? What are, what are they doing to absolutely uh, dominate this game right now? Every player on their team is just so stout, so well coached, and they're so athletic. AJ Jackson show. The guy has the a guy. hat trick. The he hat guy. trick with three of them. They just have so many guys. We Going for the about cycle. The rotation of four running backs. They're always fresh. They're always this. Also, Jonathan Morris is balling out. Big time at quarterback doing his legs and his arms. Let's see if AJ Jackson can go for the cycle and throw a touchdown too. Special defense player in his own right. Two words, Andrew Taylor. Matt Ladies Simon. and gentlemen, one of the best in the game. These kids believe what he coached. Coach. They do what we ask them to do. And we perform when it's time to get down. Conference. Great team. Making the great, presentation great team. to the teams. No disrespect to the them. Boys work for this man. They are. How special is it for you as a father who played on this field Georgia to watch your son win a state Notre championship here? It was sweet. It was sweet when he did down at U of A. It's even better to be a double father. Watch my boy play on his home field. God bless him. I can't tell you how proud I am of him and our entire team. Coach Staff, no. Hey, he won on both fields just like you. Technically. Hey, so talk to me, man. Uh, what's the feeling like you just won your first state championship as a starter? It's honestly amazing just getting out there and getting out there with my guys and doing what we do. It's the best feeling ever. 
can't get better than this. How good is this Centennial defense this year? And what makes them so good? The defense is scary. They just fly around. And what makes them so scary is just they, they listen, they learn, they make sure they come up and study their plays, they make sure they know everything that they have to do to make sure they can understand. Now it's time for you to go for three, right? Man, what was it like? Uh, you got the hat trick, you returned one, you got the punt return, the pick six, the reception in the end zone. Which one of the touchdowns was your favorite? Uh, all of them. They all helped my team come out with the dub. Uh, it's my senior year, so I just want to leave everything on the field. and I just put everything I had out there. What, what is it about uh, the water over there at Centennial? Like, it seems like there's no egos. Like, everybody knows what they got to do in order to win. Uh, that, that whole thing Coach Taylor been preaching, he says team teammates self. And I think a lot of our guys take that to heart because it's a team sport. No one person carries the team. We all got to put in that effort from the starters, every play to the scout guys that practice. We all share in that love. Give me one thing that you've learned from Coach Taylor over the years. Teammates are always there. I mean, no offense, but the camera crew is a leave every now and then. The, the fans and supporters, they're up and down, but your teammates, they're, they're your brothers. They're always there for you. All right, man, and also I've done this year after year now. I did it for Ruben Beltran last year. MVP of the game. I got to give them a hat, so I give them the one off my head. Join in the rock. Hey, I want to know something real quick, man. Last year you blocked for one dominant running back. This year you had to make that change and block for four. Like, what's the, what's the biggest thing that you learned this year? This year I, I learned that, you know, it, there's not always going to be just one big play. Like, today Thomas running down the sideline like on last year's big game. We're, we're just going to have everybody fresh. Everybody coming in fresh. So we just have to keep blocking, just keeping that mindset. You know, anything can happen right now. All those little, like, six-yard games, they kind of wear people down really bad. What was it like going from uh, the experienced veteran uh, Ruben Beltran to Jonathan Ward? I went to school with John, and I, I, I've known John for a while. I knew John had an arm, and, and I knew John was special. No one really knew who he was coming out of. Hey, you know. I just shown him a lot of love, though. Can oh, get yeah, that yeah, yeah, you have, you have, you have. I, I have been on your Twitter and stuff. But, I mean, just him coming out here, you know, during the season, just lighting up the scoreboard like he is, you know, the amount of interception he has. Not very many for a junior quarterback, and I'm, I'm really just at, at the senior power. Did you guys hang that 60 because you guys want that Geico bid? A little bit, yeah, a, a, a little bit. I think are are you guys frustrated wanna... because like these uh, bowl companies keep trying to just pick the trendy pick? Well, sometimes people look over us because you know we're Centennial, we're that small school for Peoria. But I mean, we can get after to just like any other team, and hopefully we can go to the Geico Bowl show. Hey, they did it for the piece. What makes this defense so good? We work hard. We work real hard. And in practice and the coaches, they help us know everything so we know exactly what's going to happen before they even hit. It seems like you guys do Notre Dame's playbook better than Notre Dame. Where did that come from? How much time did you guys spend studying the film? Every single day for the last two weeks. We've been in the book. In the last two years, you've been able to record wins here at Sun Devil Stadium, Fort South Trials, your pop, and down in Tucson at U of A. What's it like winning? Woo! What's it like winning on these fields that your pops won? It feels great. It feels even better. And talk to me about the interception that you uh, jump started the game with. Well, what did you see? In that formation, that's what they have ran. So I knew it. I knew it was something else. My man. Hey, instant qualifier too. What's your favorite class? I like Matt. Because like he's trying to add some picks up. And them sixes up. Alright, so Centennial blows out Notre Dame in the 5A state championship game. I'm super surprised. Sideline chick over here, not so surprised that she picked right again, but she's about to put that belt on the line, and we are going to find out what happens in the next game, the 6A state championship. Coming up, Chandler versus Perry. Y'all already know what it is. They're about to get it in one more time, and I'm going to go get some food because I'm starving. Nobody has seen more football in the Valley than this guy right here. I want to know, this Centennial team, is this the best defense that you've ever seen? Well, I'll tell you what, it's right up there for sure. I mean, look, you look at the numbers that they've, they've posted this year, five shutouts during the regular season, three other games, but the four of the games now, only allowed a touchdown, but that's domination. We saw that here uh, today, 60-7. to seven. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Accepting the 5A Conference State Championship Trophy, head coach Richard Taylor and the 